Hypoglycemia is a fact of life for most people with diabetes on glucose-lowering medication. However, it is an uncommon clinical problem in other patients. There is no plasma glucose level that defines hypoglycemia. Instead, hypoglycemia is confirmed by documentation of Whipple's triad. This consists of symptoms of hypoglycemia, a low plasma glucose, and symptom resolution when glucose is administered. Hypoglycemic disorders used to be classified as fasting or postprandial. However, a more useful classification is based on whether the patient is seemingly well or ill. Causes in the ill patient include drugs, alcohol, critical illness, cortisol deficiency, and non-islet cell tumors. Causes in the seemingly well patient include insulinoma, functional beta cell disorders, autoimmune hypoglycemia, an accidental, surreptitious, or malicious ingestion of glucose-lowering medication. Always ask about neurogenic, autonomic symptoms such as tremor, palpitations, anxiety, sweating, hunger and tingling, and neuroglycopenic symptoms such as visual change, confusion, unusual behavior, weakness, seizure, and coma. In the ill patient, ask about an error with a glucose-lowering medication, medications with known risk of hypoglycemia, alcohol addiction with periods of not eating, hepatic, renal, or cardiac failure, or sepsis, trauma, or burns, and symptoms of adrenal cortical insufficiency or malignancy. In the seemingly well patient, ask about timing and relationship to food, frequency and duration, episode prevention and treatment, weight gain from eating to prevent hypoglycemia, blood glucose during an episode, relatives with diabetes or access to antihyperglycemic agents at home or work, a family history of multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1, and previous ruan y surgery. In the ill patient, Draw plasma glucose during symptoms of hypoglycemia. Review medications, assess hepatic, renal, and cardiac function, and investigate for adrenal cortical insufficiency or non-islet cell tumor if suspected. In the seemingly well patient, if you're able to observe a spontaneous episode, measure plasma glucose, insulin, C-peptide, proinsulin, and beta-hydroxybutyrate. If you can't observe a spontaneous episode, recreate the circumstances in which symptomatic hypoglycemia is likely to occur with either a fast of up to 72 hours or after a mixed meal. With an insulinoma, most patients will experience hypoglycemia within 24 hours of fasting. Despite having a plasma glucose less than 3 millimoles per liter, Plasma insulin, C-peptide, and proinsulin levels will be inappropriately elevated. Insulinomas are rare tumors, and most are benign, small, and solitary. They should be localized through imaging and surgically removed. Remember that evaluation and management of hypoglycemia is recommended only when Whipple's triad is documented. Choose investigations based on whether the patient appears seemingly well or ill.